Hi, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com and today I posted about one of my favorite photo editing sites which is PicMonkey and I thought to help some of the new people out I would do a quick video to show you that you can even create a cover image on PicMonkey. So I'm going to walk you through how you do that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to Google and search for PicMonkey. Okay, and then go ahead and click on Pick Monkey, and here it takes you to the front page where you decide if you want to just edit a photo or if you want to create a collage. Now, to create a cover image for your Facebook business page, you actually have to create a collage first, um, and then you can edit that photo if you want to add some graphics to it. So we're going to start by clicking Create a Collage. And once it opens up, you notice that the picture that is on the screen is not actually a Facebook um, landscape cover image size. It's much larger. We're looking for one that's 850 by 315. So what we have to do is go over to the side and choose the second tab down. And this is the layout for your picture. We go ahead and click that. And then we need to look for the Facebook cover, and here it is here, and we're going to click on Facebook cover. Now, you can choose as many pictures as you want to fill into that cover image, just by clicking on one. And let's just say that we don't want um, all these boxes. You notice as I scroll over the boxes, a little X appears. All you have to do is click the X, and the box will disappear. Um, and you can actually just have one photo, if you only want one photo, just by getting rid of all the boxes. The other thing you can do is you can drag the boxes so they are smaller, larger, um, whatever fits for the pictures that you have. Now when it comes to pictures, you want to already have your pictures in a folder on your desktop. You can either use your own photography, which is by far the best, um, you can search for images on free iStock images. You can purchase images. Um, and for today's example, I just took um, a few of my own images and I went to Google Images and I borrowed some from there. So now what we do when we have our layout ready is go ahead and click Open up here. And this is going to take us and ask us to choose our photo. Now I created a um, folder this morning called Pick Monkey Example. So all I'm going to do is click on one photo and then I'm going to hold the control key down in the lower left corner of my keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and click on all the photos and then I'm going to click open. Now it loads all the photos to the left of my screen and from here all I need to do is drag those photos over and it will put them nicely on the screen. Let's see, what do I want to choose? There we go. So, I've picked a whole bunch of different photos. Now, I'm going to leave this box blank because I'm actually going to add some graphics um, to this uh, cover image once I've finished adding all the pictures. Now, the next thing I want to do is I don't want to leave the background this solid white. So I'm going to go over here to the left hand side where it says background and I'm going to click on it. And you notice this little um, bar here slides across and as it slides across it turns the background of my image bright black, it can be gray. I can even go ahead and choose some colors which are up above um, if I want to maybe add some beautiful colors. And then if I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Save. Now I have to go to the lower corner and click Save again. And then it asks me where I want to save it. Well, I'm going to save it at Pick Monkey Collage, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. I already have one in there, but I'm going to replace it with the new one by clicking Yes. And then I've got my new masterpiece saved. Thank you, Pick Monkey. And I'm going to X that up here, close out. Now what you might have noticed is um, you can actually upgrade your PicMonkey account, uh, I think it's $5 a month, and you can use all kinds of the other photo editing options there are. Right now I'm just using the easy, free, fast one. 
And I want to add some graphics to that image. So I'm going to click Edit Photo. And this is an incredibly easy way for you to brand all of the pictures that you put on Facebook. I try to always have Keep It Simple Social Media at the bottom of all my pictures, um, but only if I actually own those pictures. Now I'm back over here in the photo edit inside, and I can do several things here. I can go ahead and I can add a frame around this picture just by choosing one of the frames. And then I've got a nice looking framed picture where I can add graphics up above. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click text. Now oddly enough, the P stands for text. I click on the P and now I click add text. It drops the box onto my screen and I just drag it to where I want it to be. And then I have to drag it in on the side so it fits inside the box. And then it says type your text here. So I'm going to say home sweet home Nanaimo. And then I'm going to highlight all of that. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger by dragging the arrow down. That might be a little too big. So I'll go 24. And then I might want to change the type of print. Um, I go over to the left hand side. I really like the um, Chelsea Market. That's kind of a fun one. And I might click to center it. And um, then I might click the box and drag it down a little bit. And there we go. Home Sweet Home Nanaimo. And that's a nice little cover image. And you, you're welcome to add so many more things. You can go in here and you could say, oh, I'm going to throw some love hearts on. And you can just throw some love hearts on. You can choose the colors of those love hearts if you want. Um, but I'm not going to use them. We don't need those on. Get rid of that. Click on that and delete. There you go. And they have lots of other um, options that you can do besides just hearts. Um, I kind of like the comic bubble. So if you have people sitting on an outdoor patio, you could throw a little comic bubble on and then you could, that's an upgrade, so you couldn't use that one. But if you threw a comic bubble on, what you could do then is go into P for text, add text, and you could put the text up here and then just scroll it in so it fits. And then start typing, and this is a Nanaimo uh, bar. And then because the text is too big, I have to highlight it, and then I have to make the text um, a little bit smaller. So those are lots of little examples of things that, that you can do. Um, I'm deleting the little text box and everything. But um, PicMonkey has a lot of variety. It does take a little bit of time to get used to it, even though um, it seems simple for me to use. I've been using it for quite a few months now. So the more you use something, the easier it does become. And one of the things that I always say to my students is, never let the computer win. There is always a way to figure something out. Challenge yourself to figure it out, and you will be able to do it. I hope this video helps you today. Once again, this is Heather, and let's keep it simple.